Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Calvin Christian High School for this Friday night doubleheader on WCET. It's a Russo's Pizza night. We'll have two Russo's Pizza players of the game, one after the girls' game and one after the guys' game. We uh, had a little change. We got started. Uh, my partner tonight, Alex Goodyear. Alex, the guy. All of their numbers were messed up compared to what is on the roster. So I'm going to try to catch those up as we get started. Yeah, we got we to gotta fix those up, but the UEs look pretty good tonight. They do. Well, let's give you the starters, though. Number two is Zai Craig. She's a ninth grader. Number 12 is Kashari Bob, Bab. She's a senior. Uh, number 11 is Amani Taylor, a junior. Number four is... Makaisha, Makaisha Witherspoon, she's a junior, and Kaya Becker is a senior. Now, those numbers are out of order because they weren't in order at all for what I had originally. Yeah, unexpected turn of events, but hey. So we got number 2, 12, um, 11, 4, and 24 are starters for Godwin. For the girls of um, Calvin Christian, we have number 10, Kylie Bradford, a senior. We have Grace Walcott, number 20, a junior. Claire Boomstra is a junior. Carson Balmer is a junior. Where's number 23? Claire's 22. And number 30 is Addie Rhodes. She's a ninth grader. Normally starting, you would have my neighbor down the street, Macy Verbeek. Well, she's playing softball on, a, on an American team in Europe right now. Well, that shows off her uh, extreme athleticism. And she's also the leading scorer for the Squires, but she's not here tonight. So uh, I'm missing the neighbor, but we got the ball tipped up and we're going on, we're underway. Yeah, she's got some higher priorities tonight. Rebound up, we got a foul. I'll catch this up here in just a moment. So let's see, this is Godwin over here. This is Calvin Becker Christian that commits the foul. It's the first team foul Becker? for Godwin Heights. What number is Becker? 24. 24. You watch the score, and I'll keep up. I'll try to catch this All up right. as we go. First one's no good. That's who's at the line, number 22. That's Claire Boomstra, and she hits the second. Okay, let me find uh, my starters here for... Well, I get my papers caught up. You take it away, all right? Nice offensive rebound. You got a they foul underneath, there. and like you just alluded to, we got a foul underneath. Foul foul number 10, Bradfield, number 10. Let's, let me get these in. One, two, four, ten. One, two, four, ten. So 10 picks up her first foul. Monty Taylor at the line, shooting two. That's number 11. She misses the first. And she misses the second. 0 for 2 on that. Okay, after. Nice pass ahead by Kelvin. Rhodes is the recipient of the great pass underneath, and Kelvin out to a 3 0 early lead over Godwin. Nice pass inside. Could have been some contact, but. Damani Taylor. Taylor cleans it all up on the offensive glass. She got two, or she got the rebound. Who got the two points for them? Monty Taylor. Oh, Monty did, okay. Three point basket's good by Makaiza, or excuse me, by Carson Ballmer. What number is she? 23. Still catching up my paperwork here. Godwin with some pressure, and it pays off. But they just can't seem to get stepped out of bounds. Anything to go on the inside. 
Godwin is uh, turning up the pressure now, trying to force Kelvin into some mistakes. Okay. Who shot those first two free throws? Uh, missed one, made one. Number 22, was it? Boomstra, was it Boomstra that got him? She went one for two, right? Nice steal here by Godwin on the break. See if she can finish it, no good. And yeah, right now they're just out of control when they're going to the rim. I think they're panicking a little bit too much, trying to rush their layup attempts. Just gotta slow down a little bit and make the puppies. Who made the other uh, guy, uh, uh, Calvin shot, you know? That's 30 right there. You know who made the other two? I've got uh, six. Uh, Palmer. When number three. three. 23. 23 made one. She had a three and a two? Uh, not sure. Okay, we'll have to catch it up here and later. Oh, Godwin's coming with a double team and Nice hustle. Helter Skelter, here we go. Here's Godwin, let's see if they can finish it off, and they do. Number four. That's Witherspoon with the two. Hey, while we get this time out here, I can let you know who the uh, referees are tonight, the officials. Katie Burns, the female on the crew, is a four-year veteran out of West Olive. I said to Katie, is West Olive really a town? It's that little burg over there by Holland, by uh, West Ottawa. Oh, okay. And wow. the baseball coach for West Ottawa, Matt Knobber, actually lives in West Olive. He's the shorter of the two uh, uh, male officials. He's a nine-year veteran, and like I said, he is also the baseball coach at West Ottawa, who lives in West Olive. And then Dwayne Bosma is an eight-year veteran out of Holland. Dwayne is the big tall guy, played ball here at Calvin Christian. Back in 92, he graduated. I think I might have refereed a couple of his games. And then, he, and then he went on to Hope College and played well, That's actually pretty funny because I actually uh, played against both of his younger, or both of his sons. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, I believe the oldest son is uh, playing baseball at Ohio, somewhere in Ohio or something like that. And, um, he was a terrific uh, basketball player as well. He led his team to the state finals against Clarkson when they eventually got blown out, but still an impressive performance just to get there. <laughs> that was a nice basket by number four. And they got away with a little travel, but it didn't really matter because there's just a Rebound by Godwin. Shot. Nice hesitation and drive. Nice pass inside. And that's a great look. That's good offense right there for Godwin. What number made that? 24. That ties it all up at 8-8. Eight, eight. Godwin trapping everything on ball handlers. Oh, nice reverse underneath and in. Yeah, nice job navigating the defense inside, and that's where you can really break down this defense, especially when Godwin's just going for traps all the time. I've got four now for Addie Rhodes. Oh, there's a ball tipped out of bounds. Okay, let's see if I can catch some of these up while we have a dead ball here. Jump up and dunk that, doesn't she? Uh, <laughs> or at least try. <laughs> no, but they miss a lot of those puppies inside, and they need to convert those if they. You gotta uh, use the backboard on that instead of trying to go over the top. Yeah. But Godwin's playing good defense in the backcourt. They're forcing a lot of steals. 
That was not a travel because she dribbled all the way to the floor. Yeah. And right now, Godwin is O of whatever from three-point land. They haven't been able to buy a bucket from out there. All their offense has been inside. But you can't make them if you don't shoot them. You're not wrong. But Godwin, I'm impressed with their hustle. Yeah, they play really hard and tenacious defense. And like I uh, already said, they're trapping everything uh, off the dribble and uh, they're forcing Kelvin to make a lot of mistakes. A nice pass to the corner here. Open three ball, moon ball is good. Addie Rhodes with a three. I've got her on officially for seven. I'm missing two. We'll try to catch that up at the uh, at she's the quarter break. She's got a nice fundamental game. Nice pass underneath. The big girl gets it this time. That's number 24. Yep. And Decker's doing a good job of just uh, peeling open to the middle of the floor and getting those little easy puppies to go. Goes, uh, and she saves it. Nice. Partially blocked it in. That, that could have been a foul, too. Surprised the officials didn't give that Number to 12. her. There's, oh, steal, but uh, missed it right through her hands. Up, we got a bump down underneath. Number 13. Yeah, like, like you said, right through her hands. It did. We got I, think focus. Focus. I think she was more focused a on bunch of subs what was in. going on ahead than actually just completing the play and getting the, the catch. 2, 21, 10, and 12 are all in for, uh, or 22 and 12 for Godwin or uh, Calvin. Again, until I get all these Godwin opening with a 2-3 uh, zone out of this uh, out of bounds look, but uh, Calvin gets it to go. 23, Carson gets her fifth point unofficially. We'll get, somebody's got two more. I don't know who they are. We got $1.37 left here in the first quarter. Nice little step through the pass, but it's gonna be a uh, foul on number 22. That's uh, Claire Boomstra. Good strong take to the basket though. Two shots for number 12, Shari Bow. That's Claire's first. Basket's good by number 12. And she's got a good looking stroke. It's the first shot. We've got a sub coming in, number five. Boy, she's got long red hair. Do you see that? How long that is? Those are, uh, what do they call those? Weaves or something? Braids? They hang almost down to her knees. Second one was a miss. Ooh, and Godwin possibly mistake there. Forces the uh, turnover and fall, the ball falling out of bounds by Kylie letting it go. Here comes number 30 back in. That's Addie Rhodes. Checking out is 23, I believe, Carson. Minute 24 left in the first quarter. It's 15-13 Squires and Ball out of bounds, couldn't handle it. I want to count the, uh, how many turnovers we've had in this first quarter. You're supposed to be keeping track it's been of a lot. Them. You're the color guy, you got to keep track of those. Maybe I should, but. I've got just points and fouls, you got everything else. Steal, right. Steals, blocks, uh, turnovers. Yep, come on. Oh, forced it up, couldn't get it to go, then knocks it out of bounds. That's Claire Boomstra. Boy, she slammed that ball off at it for a layup. It's like she was in volleyball season. I tell you what, that was a uh, not a soft touch. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was not a soft touch. It's all right, it's good effort. Nice in inside uh, take there. Just didn't get it to go. Oh wow, heads up play there to knock it off of a Kelvin player and give Godwin back the possession. Yep. 
Oh, that's a two, but it didn't, or a three, but it didn't go. How do you play with hair that long? I don't know. Out top. Oh, we have a foul underneath. I think it's going to go on number two. It, and it does. Yep, good call there by the official kid. That's her first foul. Most definitely was a hand check and the body. 26.9 seconds to go as umpire Dwayne Bosma puts it in place. Stolen, up, and in. Number 12, nice steal. Give her four points, and it's all tied up here, uh, Alex. Yep. Little pop shot goes good. That's Kylie for two. That's the last time of the game, and she just uh, put yeah, that one in. That mid-court jumper. Yep, those mid-range jumpers. Don't see it as often as you did back in the day, but. No. Everybody's shooting the layups or the, uh, well, in the guy's game, it's the dunk. Yeah, and, and then the threes. It's the three. 1.5 seconds to go. I get why it's that way, just because the three-point shot, it really isn't that far. Not in, uh, not in high school. High school and college, for that matter, either. Now, the NBA, it's a little bit different. Yeah, definitely is a lot different. Up and in on the buzzer for number 30, Addie Rhodes, and she has nine for the first quarter. And after one, it's 1915, Calvin Christian. It's time to experience the flavor of Russo's Pizzeria. Pickup, delivery, and catering available. Proudly serving you since 1953. With generations of recipes to satisfy any craving, we're ready to make your next meal. Call us up or stop in the corner of 44th and Burlingame to get your piece of the action today. Okay, we're back for the second quarter. All right, I got that caught up. That's uh, uh, Addie Rhodes picked up 11 first quarter points, 11. So, We've got a 19-15 score as we put the ball, the possession arrow. It's a three, can't get it to go to, for Godwin. Godwin's doing a great job on the offensive glass. Hustling for a second chance, rebounds. Another three can't go. Like you said, if they could get a three to fall, there's another chance, but no, she's not gonna take it. Pulling it back out top. Oh, nice little crossover dribble, step through, up. And no, she's going to get called for the travel. Yeah, it's a tough call right there. Yeah. Because it was a nice move to the basket, but I think she did shuffle her feet just a One little bit. One too many steps on that Euro step. That's a two for uh, Balmer. Carson Balmer now with seven points. And we got two girls that need to fix up their shoes. And Godwin takes the ball across half court. Underneath, tip, knocked out of, uh, or out of um, steel. <laughs> we got a charge on number 30. Addie Rhodes is gonna pick up a foul. Yep, good heads up play there for Godwin. Here in the high school game, they don't have the, uh, the charge arc. So <laughs> no. in college, that would have been called the charge or would have been called a block, a block a question because of the right. arc, but in high school there's no arc, so. On the next dead ball, I'm gonna have you explain what that is, because being that we don't have that in high school, let's see what this foul is. Number two for Godwin picks up that foul. I believe that's her second. It is. That's the fourth team foul. I'm actually all caught up on fouls. That's Zaire Craig. Calvin going with the little football strategy, throwing it up ahead. There's got to be a jump ball right there. Good call. And the possession arrow favors um, it should be a white ball because Godwin got the uh, 
possession arrow to start the second quarter, and it is. The arrow then switches to the white. That would be Calvin, and ball tipped out of bounds. That was a telegraph pass. Yeah, Might as well put a stamp on that and mail yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> that was a hair mail. Yeah, she, exactly. She tipped it up in the air. Lucky the uh, Godwin or uh, Calvin is lucky she didn't catch that and uh, go the other way. Yeah, everybody in the building knew what she was doing there. Long three ball for Godwin or for Calvin doesn't go and it goes out of bounds. Wow. Nice block out by the Godwin uh, uh, Wolverines to let that ball fall out of bounds and not allow anybody from the Squire team to go pick it up. Let's see what Godwin can do here. They haven't been able to get really much offense in the half court. Uh, the only offense they've really had is off of offensive rebounds and misses. So let's see what they can dial up here. Well, Calvin is playing, and they, they threw it out of bounds. Calvin's playing a 3-2 uh, zone, it looks like. Sometimes it's disguised as a 1-2-2, two, two, but they're definitely playing a zone. Yeah, it's either a 3-2 or an extended 1-2, two, or 2-1-2, uh, two, two, actually. Could be a 2-1-2, two, two, yeah. There's an up and in with a left hand by number 12. She now has six points. But also, just like the, in the high school and the college game, there's no defensive three seconds like they have in the NBA. Right. So people, people if you got a big girl or a big guy, you can just stand in the paint the whole time and on defense. clog it up. Yep, exactly, yep, on, on defense. defense. Yeah, the only place there's a defensive three is in the NBA. And I'm not even sure why they have it. I think it's just because of Wilt Chamberlain. Well, he changed like, the game that way. He stood there and blocked everything. Yeah. Things that... Now it would be called a goaltend. They didn't call back then. That was all blocks. Right to the stands. I tell you what, that ball, you out. that ball came right at me. If the referee would have been a little faster, he would have saved me, but he didn't. He didn't, he didn't sacrifice for me. <laughs> He's not paying attention to me either. He's all business right now. He, he doesn't want to listen to you. He's concentrating on what his job is. Who would, would want to listen to you? Come on That's now. right. I know. They don't listen to me when I referee either. <laughs> and nor do I listen to them. <laughs> you know, Will Chamberlain's still the only guy in the uh, NBA to score 100 points. Yep. Ooh, there's a foul from behind, I believe, on number 13. I don't know if anybody will ever get that record. Oh, I, don't that record. I don't know. I don't know. That's two uh, fouls on number 13. Donovan Mitchell on the jet, uh, on the uh, Cavs, excuse me. Just about close. a couple of weeks ago, yeah. he was 30 points within it. I think he scored 71 points. Yep. And that's a big game. Yeah. But it's still 30 points away from 100. Yeah, exactly. Nice way to Godwin flew in there for that defensive uh, rebound. Goes coast to coast and has it blocked. And going to be tipped out of bounds to the white team. And here comes number four. That's uh, Cater. Her name is Macasia Witherspoon. They call her Cater. Just like you cater a dinner. Down underneath, oh, back door, she missed her. She yeah. was wide open on that back door pass. Couldn't get it to go. Another one, rebound. The Godwin team is really rebounding well. Oh At yeah. Both ends of the floor, they really. The glass, and usually that dictates uh, the game. Right, but they trail by six right now, 23-17. I think that's just because they haven't shot the ball well at all. I'd have to guess they probably are shooting around. Well, they're only 15 to 20 percent right now from the field. Yeah, the two threes behind. Uh, two threes would give them six. It would tie it up, but that ball was tipped out of bounds. Last touched by number 24. That's Kaya Becker. Timeout on the white team before the 10 second violation would have taken place. Why don't you tell the uh, folks about that uh, arc under the basket in the NBA, not in college ball though, is it? Oh, college ball. College has it. Yep. Go ahead and tell us about that. 
So basically, they have this this charge arc, they call it, and the charge what, arc. What is a charge arc? What is it? How do you know what it is? Uh, it's a black circular line that goes right underneath the basket, only probably a few feet under the basket. And um, anything inside that line is, ha is therefore protect, uh, is protecting the offense so that defensive players can't just flop or, you know, do whatever underneath the basket. It rewards the offensive players uh, for getting there. So if somebody's in there and the offense goes in and they're in that arc, is that a block or a charge? Uh, it, it would be a block. It would be a blocking foul or a shooting foul, whichever one the referee calls. But if, if the defensive player has two feet outside of that arc, it cannot be touching that arc at all. If they have two feet outside of that arc and have maintained a uh, perfect legal guarding position, that uh, will be a charge. Okay. So inside, it's a defensive block. Outside, it's offensive charge. Yep. Kind of a, a rule of thumb, but not exactly, because there's always the exception. Yep. Number 12 can't get it to go. She had no follow through, and they come down. We got a jump ball. Jump ball. Up's going back to Godwin, but Calvin hasn't done a great job on the offensive glass, and finally they got some effort, and they forced a jump ball, so good job by Calvin there. We've got three minutes, 54 seconds to go in this first half of the first game here tonight. We have a doubleheader, boys and girls. We're going to have two Russo's Pizza player of the game. Uh, you're going to have to help me out on that later on. I want to thank Mike Russo for the pizza for the staff here tonight. Hey, they got a three to go. Kashari Bab for three, and she's now got nine for the game. It's 23-20. It's the first uh, three for Godwin. Yep, good shot. Godwin is hustling on defense like a beehive. They're quick. Yeah, they're getting away with some hand checks too, but yeah, still nonetheless good physical defense. Oh, nice lay in, and she goes up. Going to get followed by number 12, Kashari Bob. That'll be her first. Yeah, right now, if you're Kelvin, you can really break this defense down if you just fake and make a pass because well, they're going to be going, they're flying out to every single ball fake to everything. If you fake and make a pass or pump pump fakes, whatever, you're going to get easy baskets. Kelvin's got the inside. height, too. That's why uh, that little back door to... Um, Addie Rhodes, Addie gets the first of two free throws. But again, she had the height on that, so they just tossed it over the defense. Addie went up and got pushed in the back. And if you're Godwin, I think here probably the best strategy would be to uh, extend that press to full court because Kelvin's having a t uh, tough time getting the ball all the way down the court, nonetheless in the half court game. I think uh, applying some more full court pressure instead of the half court pressure would probably be a little bit more effective. That's a foul on number 23, Carson Balmer, her first. Team fourth, Godwin has six team fouls. Next to Godwin foul will be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the Squires. Oh, nice hesitation, little pop. She goes up, gets fouled. Yep. I'm gonna go to the line for two. That Godwin's got a couple of great ball handlers. Addie Rhodes picks up another one real quick here. That's five team fouls now. Going to the line, number 12, Kashari Bab. Kashari gets the first one to go. Kashari now with uh, 11 points. She's two out of three from the line. See if she can go from 66 to 74%, and she does. And it's 24-22. Now they're starting to extend this press a little bit, just like I said. And see, exactly. Kelvin just had a hard time getting the ball up the floor, and now they're just setting up that half-court offense. There they are, down low again. I think they're going to have a two-shot fall on number 11. And that's going to be Amani Taylor. And that's her first. That is the 17 foul, but it was a shooting foul, so she'll get two from the line. Yeah, Balmer got her up in the air, and once you get a defensive player up in the air, there's really nothing they can really do yeah. except foul or give up the layup. 
Carson's first opportunity from the line. She makes the first of two. And she gets the second one. Nice form. Gets them both to go. And Carson now with nine points in the game. It's a four point Squire lead. I'm impressed with Godwin so far though. What do you think? I think they're playing great defense. And especially on the offensive glass, they've been really good. But I think they, uh, the difference in this game has just been their half court offense. It's just been well, they're definitely uh, at a disadvantage when it comes to height. But oh, definitely they have a disadvantage at height, but, but they've got the speed advantage. They have that speed advantage, but they just cannot buy a bucket in the half court. Oh, and that's the problem right now for Godwin. That's a rainmaker right there, Alex. Yep. Carson Balmer with a three ball for 12 on the game now. In order for Godwin to be able to get some scoring in this half court. They're going to have to shoot the ball well, which they just did, and they're going to have to get the ball to the middle to break down that Kelvin zone. Amani just answered with a three of her own. That's two threes in a row for Godwin, and it's 29-25. We're down to a minute 45. Oh, that time she didn't quite follow through on it. That was uh, Balmer. Yep, good three. Point shot there from Balmer. Balmer's going to take another one. That one she followed through on, yep. and that one she banged home. And Becker's not going to step up on that. She's, I think she's too worried about getting blown by. And it's a quick seven She's going to have that shot though. all night. We got timeout taken, a 30 second timeout taken by. Uh, See if Godwin uh, goes to more of a speedier approach. Well, that's uh, Cassie uh, Medina, is the coach for the uh, Godwin Wolverines. Dan Vanderwall is the coach for the girls of Calvin Christian. I'm Andrew Kovac. My partner is Alex Goodyear. We're coming to you from courtside. It's a little bit different. We usually have been to Crow's Nest. I actually did get to do this courtside uh, gig last year. Down here? Yeah, Brian yeah, hooked me up last year <laughs> with this gig. I, I think you were gone okay. last year. I, was with, I did it with my friend, and uh, yeah. Credit to well, Ryan, it's just a beautiful setup, and we have thank been, you a lot for it tonight. We have been in the crow's nest for years, but last year, for a while, we were under the crow's nest, right? I mean, if you stood up, you hit the bottom of the crow's nest with your head, and now we're courtside. We're, we're moving right on up. Yeah, we got VIP status. Now that Brian is the station manager, we'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. Brian Waringa is um, our Producer, cameraman, director, and station manager. I think he's also the sports director. Godwin again uh, putting pressure on. Yep, good job getting the ball inside. Oh, that's a flop. Oh, I think that was a. That's, that's not a good thing right to do. There. Claire Boonstra uh, with her first two. Well, well, she has not much she could have really ride. done right there besides flop because I you know, know, but she's uh, just going to get back down. And that could be a technical foul for unsportsmanlike conduct, but they didn't call that. There's a steal. Yeah, well, I think they got it back. right. I don't think you really need to call that. No. This is maybe a little bit of bump, but uh, we're at 30 seconds to go. Underneath, and it's stolen by it's uh, uh, number two, Leah Layla Nelson. There's a little step that didn't get called. Bank shot over the top from 12. That's number 22, Boonstra. Back-to-back -back buckets, and she's got four with 12 seconds to go. I think she called glass right there. Uh, she was a step in front of the free throw line and did not call glass. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if she called glass There's a three right ball. There. It's short, and we end the first half. Every single time I make one of those kind of shots, I'm, I got a look on my face like, uh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no, but they all go in. Of course, we always say if you don't call glass, you only get two instead of three. Or in that case, if, if it's a two-shotter, you only get one. But uh, yeah. that's only on the, uh, on the recreational court in the... Uh, in the uh, pickup ball, yeah. Pickup ball, you don't, yeah. Call, you don't call glass, it ain't, it ain't gonna count, but... Well, you know, Calvin quietly at the end, put some points together. Booster had two back-to-back -to -back 
twos. That was four. Our lead at the end of the first half. That's Squires. Un, you know, the score really doesn't say what the game has been, but it's Squires by 11, 36 25. My name is Todd Ponstein from Interspace Mini Storage in Jenison, Michigan. And it's our goal here at Interspace to provide you, our customers, with clean, secure, dry, well-lit, personalized storage facilities. What makes us unique is that we're family owned and operated, and it is our goal to put our customers' needs ahead of our own. We will even come out sometimes on Saturdays to let people in and out of units. We have great rates and we even offer discounts for six months paid in advance or more. We have many different size units ranging from as small as a 5x10 to as large as a 12x50 and almost anything in between. We don't have contracts. You rent right from the day that you move in to the day that you move out. So you don't pay for any time that you don't use. Of course, all of our customers have 24-7 access to their unit. So if you have storage needs, come see us at Interspace. Interspace Mini Storage, for all life has in store. It's time to experience the flavor of Russo's Pizzeria. Pickup, delivery, and catering available. Proudly serving you since 1953. With generations of recipes to satisfy any craving, we're ready to make your next meal. Call us up or stop in the corner of 44th and Burlingame to get your piece of the action today. Welcome back to Calvin Christian High School, home of the Squires in this Friday night girls high school basketball extravaganza. I'm Andrew Kovac with my partner tonight, Alex Goodyear. Some of you guys know his dad, Jeff Goodyear. Jeff is uh, refereeing tonight at uh, Northview and then heading over to the Cleveland area with uh, the wife and uh, sister-in-law and uh, going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Sad news uh, with the uh, death of Elvis Presley's only daughter. Um, what was her name? Uh, Not sure. Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie Presley. One of Coach Diane's uh, fine, uh, uh, she loved Lisa Marie. Coach Diane is the uh, uh, volleyball coach for Godwin sitting next to us, behaving herself. I think it's the first time I've ever seen her behave because when I'd referee volleyball, she never did. But I never gave her a red card, and she's keeping the scorebook for the Godwin Heights Wolverines. So sad news in the... Uh, in the rock and roll world with the death, the death of Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter of uh, Elvis Presley. And we got a catch up here on uh, the news here at WCET. So Kurt Wilson, our current station director has gotten a new job. He is going to be going to Cadillac station, nine and 10 news, nine and 10 news that means on january 28th brian waring will be doing the whole shebang here at wct along with us volunteers and brian will be sports director station manager until the board hires a new station manager to uh take over here at wcet alan dodge you remember retired a year ago and he's enjoying retirement. He actually came back, I think, and did a broadcast uh, not too long ago. We're underway. Calvin Christian with the ball to start with. Up and in off a left hand by number 22. And that is Claire Boomstra. So she ended the first two. We have a foul, I believe. Yeah, not number a 24. smart foul there is. She just reached in about as far as uh, far away from the basket as you possibly could, 90 feet away. Underneath, stolen. I steal there. Ball's rolling around. She's going to flip it over. Up. Can't get it to go, but she's going to get fouled, and I think it's going to. Go on number 22, Claire Boomstra. 
And it is. Yeah. She's taking her herself second. right there because that one should have been an old-fashioned three-point play. Going to the line is number 11, Amani Taylor. Okay. I think the delay was waiting for somebody from Godwin to get in the lane spot. Amani off the back. She's now 0 for 3 from the line. She was in the act of shooting when she got fouled by Boomstra, so she'll get a second one. And she's off the back of the rim on that one, too. So she's not doing so hot from the line. 0 for 4. Yep, having a tough time. Calvin Christian gets the uh, ball across half court a little bit better this time. There's a little body action on that one and not yeah. called. She forced that one. I think it's because she's 6'8 and the other girl's 5'0 five, five <laughs> or maybe 4'8. She's not quite 6'8, not quite 4'8, but it's real tall and real short. Kylie Bradford gets her second and two team fouls. A zone defense here from Kelvin. And they just, Kel, or Godwin just cannot find a way to get inside and get some easy baskets. Kelvin doing a good job with their defensive scheme, taking away these opportunities for Godwin. Coach Vanderwall barking out signal or calls for the uh, Squires. And there's a three ball by Amani Taylor. Yeah, Taylor's been the only one, really, for Godwin that's been able to shoot her way out of a slump. And, and I think we got a jump ball there, huh? Yep, jump ball. She's going to go back to Godwin. I believe I gave an update on all the scores and fouls at halftime, but I... I think we were not broadcasting at that time. Yeah, we weren't rolling. It was all pra it was all practice. Yeah, exactly. You talking to some ghosts. <laughs> talking to a ghost, yeah. Ooh, there's a, what do we got here? We've got two shots. She was going up. 22, Boomstra. Oh, Boomstra. That's her third fall, second in the uh, second half here. It's 38-28. Calvin Christian by 10. Number 24, Kaya Becker. Is that the line? Her first two from the free throw line. That one bounces around, bounces around, and goes in. We've got a sub coming in for Kaya. If she makes this one, then she doesn't, so she gets to stay in the game. There's a little nice strategy to stay in, get some more <laughs> minutes. M miss the shot so you can stay in the game. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It sucks when you uh, make the free throw line and then you have to come out, you know? Yeah, exactly, right? Another steal by number 11, Amani Taylor, is all over the floor. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it's going to be Godwin ball. And now... Becker's going to come out, and number 21, Eris Mallory, will be coming in. Walcott comes out, number two, Leah Nelson, Layla Nelson comes in for Calvin Christian. Nice crossover. But no space to work with. Oh, nice pop and go for number 11. Amani Taylor's keeping the uh, Wolverines in this. She's got five in the second half. She's got 10 for the game. And she's 0 for 4 from the free throw line. Yep, two straight quick buckets. She's starting to heat up a little bit. And Godwin's going to need that 
shooting stroke from her. We got a travel, and it's going to be Godwin Ball. Number 45, Ashley Houtsma uh, checked in. I didn't see who came out for her, but she's in the game now. Want to give uh, Ashley uh, a shout out. Uh, it's now seven point uh, Squire lead. Little step through, little pop, can't get it to go. Rebounded by, uh, it's gonna be rebounded by Ashley and she's gonna get fouled by number 21. I like the shot selection there from Godwin. Finally getting the ball inside and they did it via a uh, ball screen up top. And uh, that's what they're gonna need to do if they're gonna break this Kelvin zone. They're gonna have to get the ball to the middle and they're gonna have to shoot their way out of it. Good ball action going across the center court line. The defense here. Three ball, left-handed, number two. Yep, Godwin's doing a good job of Layla speeding Nelson. Kelvin up. Twenty-one picks up her. Uh, picks up her second. Three team fouls. We got a timeout being taken by the Godwin Heights Wolverines. They got their new uniforms on tonight. The uh, nice little stripes on the side. I like that, Alex. What do you think? Yeah, kind of nice sporty. uniforms. Yeah, they got the uh, University of Michigan colors. Yeah, well, they're the Wolverines. Yeah, they got the mascot and everything. Yeah. Not a bad look, even and though then, I'm a Michigan uh, State fan. And then there's, uh, what is it, number four? Number four's got the red hair going all the way down to her knees. Uh, I think they call that a weave. I don't know. I'm not into into the hair. but Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not really into hair. It's an extension or, yeah. or something, but it extends, like I said, all the way to her knees. I don't know how you play with that, but, uh, but she does pretty well. Well, she does pretty well with it, so... You know? Hey, why not keep it if she's playing good? Hey. It's like Katie Burns has the long hair going for uh, our referee tonight. Katie is a four-year veteran out of West Olive. Her partner out of West Olive is Matt Nobber, a nine-year veteran. Uh, he's also the West Ottawa over baseball the coach. Let's see, who's that call on? Uh, number 30, that's Addie Rhodes, her third fall. And then our other official is a graduate, 1992, here at Calvin Christian. Eddie Went on to play at Holland at Hope College. That's Dwayne Bosma. He's an eight-year veteran official now. I think I remember doing some games when he played because he was so darn tall, yeah. and he still is. And you said you played against his two sons. Yep, I played against uh, both of them. The one I remember more because he was the star player at West Ottawa was, I can't believe that, I, I can't remember the first name of him, but he uh, went on to play baseball over at Miami, Ohio, I believe. I Could think. be. Yeah. So he was a multi-sport athlete, and uh, he was part of that 2018 just dominant class for West Ottawa. They just dominated in every single sport. Hockey, basketball, baseball, football, football. whatever. They dominated. They were just a, an elite class. Well, uh, Kylie Bradford just picked up her third foul. And from the line, shooting two free throws is Gabrielle Cannon. And she missed them both. So Godwin's got to work on free throws. They have taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and made four. So they're 25%. Well, almost got caught in the corner. We got a block on number 12. Yeah, she's got to cut that off and get her foot on the baseline so she has legal guarding position. On she the sideline? Yep. On the sideline, yeah. Make the sideline another defensive player for exactly. you. Exactly. Just like that coffin corner up in the top. Uh, she almost got trapped up there and then drove on and then got uh, the block underneath. And again, it's Godwin quickly getting in and stealing that ball. See what they can do offensively. Good ball handling from the Wolverines and uh, she stepped out of bounds. She being Cater Witherspoon. 
Yeah, that's tough. Number 24, Kaya Becker, and number two, Zaire Craig in. That's a for tough. For Coach uh, Cassie Medina. It's a tough call right there because she had the speed advantage. She would have been able to get by. And yeah, she just wasn't looking where she was uh, stepping and stepped out of bounds. And that oh, is going to be a timeout. Timeout taken by Coach Dan Vanderwall. I thought it could have been a, almost well, a backcourt violation. She did step into the front court before she caught it. She jumped, she stepped in, and then caught it. With, it was that close. was close. It, it was, was close, very, very close. And Vandenberg, or Vanderwall called a timeout just in time. Well, we want to remind you that uh, at the end of the next quarter, Alex and I will be coming up with a Russo's Pizza player of the game. Uh, Russo's Pizza is on the corner of Burlingame and 44th Street. And Mike is sitting there waiting to make your pizza. He's got the Italian pastries. Uh, he's got some uh, Coca-Cola products. The breadsticks are very, very good. So get yourself a pizza from Russo's Pizza. 616-530-3200 is Russo's Pizza. Step up and in and can't get it to go. There's a shot That's a three. inside can't the line. Get it to go. Now she had her foot on the line right there, so it would have only been a two, but. Three ball doesn't go for Calvin. Rebound, inside. not she gonna go, and I think, I think we gotta travel. Godwin finally comes up with the ball. Nice Euro step. step. Through. Yeah, nice and gets it to go. That's Cater Witherspoon. Sometimes all, all you gotta do is see the ball go through the basket. Maybe that'll get her going. Lead is down to five. And it's out of bounds and it's Godwin ball. It's 38-33. It was 36-25 at halftime. Somebody's got the door open. I can feel a little draft coming in here. Yeah. It's pretty cold. It's cold outside and today. We're, and we're a long way from that outside door. Hey, we live in Michigan, though. What can we expect? But there's no snow on the ground. And not only are we Friday the 13th, but we're one day closer to spring. There we go, I guess. I guess that's something to look forward to, but it's still cold in the spring, so. It is. I think all of us Michiganders have that in common. We all just hate the cold, and <laughs> we can we can all just you know bond over that. I kind of tolerate the cold. I can't stand the snow. That's fair. Because I, mean, I shovel way too much. See me, I just don't like it when it's all wet and gross and cold outside. I I honestly would rather have the snow than the rain. Well, I shovel rain. I shovel rain a lot easier than snow. Yeah, that's true. Long three ball. Can't get it to go. It's more pretty to look at, though. That is true. That is true. God has a way of making uh, that white stuff look pretty. Yeah, he does. But then again, a lot of times, I think it's pretty ugly because then two days later, after they put salt down, it's all brown. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice corner pass. Overshoots it. missed it all. And rebound taken by Ashley Houtsma. And these Godwin players are just so fast. Houtsma, oh, Seems like nice they pass. can go for uh, deflections and stuff and then get right back in the play just because of their speed. Number two, Layla Nelson with a left-handed three. Doesn't get it to go. Nice Here's another outside. three. Witherspoon for three, no good. Can't get it to go. Nice box out that time. And Godwin steals or jumps in and uh, knocks it out of bounds. Good hustle there from Godwin. Godwin's still in this game. They're hanging around. 
our they game haven't shot the ball our well, game at time, all, but. Oh, excuse me. Our game time temperature, and it continues to be 28 degrees on a mostly clear night. Tell you Almost what, the Godwin there. girls are nice going. Nice pass inside. And Underneath to Natty, Nadia Becker. That's her first two of the night. And it's 40-33. More fans are starting to pack in here. Well, the boys game will be coming up next. We'll be here, we'll take a break on WCT, and then we'll have a complete new broadcast with the boys. Oh, and you and I will do the game. Yeah, we get the pleasure of doing it. Boy, I tell you what, number 11 is just flying around the court. Amani Taylor is just faster than all get out. Yeah, she's a, uh, any ball handler's worst nightmare on Kelvin because she is right there all the time. Addie Rhodes back in for Nadia Becker. Ball comes in. Man-to-man -man defense by the Wolverines. There's the freshman inside. She just missed it. But she's played a great game tonight. Coming back in, number five, Kylan Byrne, or Battles. Kieran Battles? Kylan? How do you say that? Kylan? Kylan Battles? Giving number four, Cater Witherspoon, a break. It's 40-33. We're under a minute. We're at 50.3 seconds. There's a three ball way over the top. And here come the, Wither, or the Witherspoon. Here comes the uh, Wolverines. She goes up and gets fouled. Nice job. That's number two, Zai in transition. Craig. That's what they're going to have to do if they want to get back in this game. They're going to have to keep pushing the ball in transition and force Calvin to get back in de on defense and not set up their zone. Layla Nelson on the foul going to the line. Number two follows number two. So Layla Nelson, number two, follows Zai Craig, number two. She's got her first two opportunities from the line. And bouncing around, another miss for Coach Cassie Medina's Wolverines. They're now four for 13. See if she can get this one. No, no off the back couldn't. of the rim, but stolen. And it's gonna Surprise, go. There was a no call right there. It looked like yeah. she got bumped from behind. And the ball rolled out of bounds, and it's going to be Calvin Christian ball. Let me double check. That's four, five, six, 10, 11, 12, 14 free throws, and they've made four of them. It's a good game here, Alex. Yep, great game. Much better than I thought it might be. I think they're going to get a jump ball. Nice hustle goes. by number 45, Ashley Houghton, diving to the floor, and Godwin reaching down and tying it up. And the yeah, this was going to stay with Kelvin. Possession arrow stays, yeah, with the white and green. But it's going to give the Wolverines Houghton the ball. gets it blocked. In the fourth quarter. A nice spin move here. She runs into a wall, and... We've got a block on number... I think that was the right call. Yep. Number one, Maddie Muhlenberg is going to pick up her first foul. Team eight, so it's going to be a one and one. I think the fans' eyes made to see of you right there because it looked, it just all happened so fast, but I didn't think she had her feet set, so I think it was a great call yeah, by the referee there. It was there. a spin. It was a spin by Amani Taylor. 0 for 4 from the line. Let's see if she can put this one in. And she does. Finally gets one to go. They're now five for 15 from the line, 33%. Or excuse me, one fifth. That's 20%. She gets them both. Seven seconds to go, down under. Nice reach inside, Two seconds. she poked it away. Up. And doesn't get it to go as we come to the end of the third quarter. Our score is Calvin Christian 40, 35 for the Godwin 
Wolverines, are we taking a break? We are taking a break here on WCET, and we'll be back for the fourth quarter. It's time to experience the flavor of Russo's Pizzeria. Pickup, delivery, and catering available. Proudly serving you since 1953. With generations of recipes to satisfy any craving, we're ready to make your next meal. Call us up or stop in the corner of 44th and Burlingame to get your piece of the action today. Welcome back to Calvin Christian High School, home of the Squires in this Friday night girls high school extravaganza. It's a girls basketball game between the Calvin Christian Squires and the Wolverines from Godwin Heights. Our score after the end of three, it's 40 to 35. After one quarter, it was 1915. That was a four point advantage. It went up to 36 25 at halftime. Here we are in the third quarter. It's down to five, Calvin Christian 40, Godwin 35, as we get ready for our fourth Crossover quarter. Crossover inside, dunk down, wow. Oh, beautiful no look pass. pass. No looker to Becker, and Becker picks up her seventh point of the game, six and one from the free throw line. Wow, that was a beautiful play from Bab. I think that was probably the highlight of the game right there. Oh, nice reverse by Addie Rhodes. Addie's up to, uh, 16 points for the game. We're gonna have to start thinking uh, about our Russo's Pizza player of the game. Little stop and pop and can't get it to go. However, number two with the rebound, that is Layla Nelson and she can't get it to go. And here comes Amani Taylor, she stops, pops. She can't get it to go. The nice action the is, offensive glass. No the good again. Action is picked up here. Yeah. Everybody and that's knows exactly, it's the fourth uh, quarter. That's exactly what Godwin wants. It, it actually helps them out because they want to play fast. We've got another held ball. It's going to be white ball as Godwin had the, had the possession arrow to start the fourth quarter. Timeout being taken. Timeout being taken by Coach Cassie Medina and the Wolverines. With six minutes, 50 seconds to go, it's 42-37. Quickly for Godwin, our leading scorers with uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 is Kashari Bab. With 10, 11, 12 is Amani Taylor. Cater Witherspoon has six. And seven for Kaya Becker. For Coach Dan Vanderwalls, Calvin Christian Squires, Kylie Bradford has two. Nadia Becker has two. Claire Boomstra has six. Carson Balmer with 13 from the floor. She has three threes and a pair of free throws. She's got a total of 15. And with 16 points, is Addie Rhodes. She's got 15 from the floor, one from the free throw line, and one of those from the floor is a three point ball. Calvin Christian with six minutes and 50 seconds in this fourth quarter, lead by five, it's 42-37. As the timeout comes to uh, a close and we're ready to go, Calvin Christian will put this ball back in play. I'm Andrew Kovac, my color man tonight is Alex Goodyear. Ball tipped out of bounds by the Wolverines. To retain with Kelvin, though. Our officials are Katie Burns, four years out of West Olive. Matt Knobber, nine years out of West Olive. And Dwayne Bosma, eight years out of Holland. Two misses by Godwin, or by Kelvin. And they speed oh, nice down, move, left hand, bits. can't get it to go. And 22. Claire Boomsma with a rebound. However, threw it too far ahead and saved, but saved into the arms of the blue and gold. That would be the Wolverines. Three ball up, can't get it to go. Rebounded way out top by number two, Layla Nelson. 
Another ball stolen by number four. That's Mace, or excuse me, by uh, Cater Witherspoon. The normal leading scorer for Godwin, or for Calvin Christian, number four, Macy Verbeek. If you were not with us at the beginning of the game, Macy uh, is not playing tonight. She's in Europe with her dad playing, or excuse me, with her mother and other players from the area, some from Hudsonville, playing on a girls American softball team. What an honor that must be. Yeah, what an honor. I remember running for the state of Michigan against Indiana and Ohio, and I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, well, she's uh, representing the entire country. <laughs> I, I just represented the state of Michigan, and it was pretty cool. Yeah, I bet. But I never played on an American team against other nations. I'm sure nations. you wanted to beat Ohio, though. Oh, yeah, we wanted to. Well, we wanted to beat Indiana, too. Oh, yeah, for sure, but Ohio's probably the main rival. Everybody wants to beat Ohio and Michigan. Long ball underneath, and it's not, it was a just errant pass. Here comes Amani Taylor. Stops and pops, short. Rebound, way out top. Nice floater, Whoa. and she gets it to go in. one. Did she get the foul? Yep. Bab got the two. And she's starting to heat up now. Great move to get the inside. Broke down the defense with a low dribble, drop down dribble. Boom got to her spot for a nice little smooth floater. Boomstra picked up her fourth foul on that. Let's see if Bab can convert the old fashioned three ball. Nice little floater, huh? Yeah, beautiful floater. And she gets the old fashioned three. And we got a foul. Looks like it is on Bab. Bab's gonna pick up the foul. That's her third. We got a sub coming in. Our Godwin's key players gotta make sure they're not getting too much into foul trouble because that could be an issue later in this game. Cater Witherspoon back in for Kira Reed Anderson. And there's a ball thrown away. Ball's up and in, number four, Witherspoon. Just She's like that, we're all eight. tied up. Yeah, that's five unanswered points. And nice pass down low and. <laughs> boy, Amani Taylor kind of nailed her. Yeah. And going to the line will be number 23, Carson Balmer. Carson with uh, 15 points right now. Witherspoon now with. Uh, or excuse me, Imani Taylor. That's her third foul. They didn't give that to Bab? Well, Bab had the one before that. Yep, Bab had the foul before that. So now, so Bab that's uh, starting to pick up the fouls. And well, it's nine team fouls for Calvin, seven for Godwin. Yeah, and the next foul is gonna be. And we got a travel. travel. I think she shuffled her feet. I think she was yep, too she worried did. about the pressure defense and getting the ball and moving the ball ahead and also focused well, she, on her step. She went one for two from the line, put the Squires back up 43-42, she being Carson Balmer. Godwin can take the lead for the first time tonight. Taylor, oh, I thought Taylor was gonna pop that one. Instead it's number 12. Kashari Bab for three, and it's the first lead. Wow, by she's the playing a heck Wolverines. of a quarter right now. And this, oh, he's got away with a the travel there. The defense here, nice pass inside though, and they got away with a push. Bomber uh, missed that one, but she got pushed in the hip, didn't she? Oh, that was that was a clear call right there. She got she got whacked, pushed. A clearly, evident call. There's no way. It's efficient. She got shoved underneath that one, and. Uh, Miss that layup. It's now four These officials minutes. are human, though. They're going to make mistakes. We never make mistakes as officials. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, as a player, I can tell you that's a, that's a, that's a false Stolen statement. by uh, Calvin Christian. I see uh, the minor leagues in baseball are going to a, uh, a robot calling balls and strikes. 
Three ball, number two, Layla Nelson. That's her first bucket of the night. Nice job And it puts there. Godwin uh, down by one. She had all day to tee that one up, and she made sure it went in. Left-hander, she's been working on it. It's 46-45 with three and a half to go. Taylor can't get it to go, and she's mad at herself. And yeah, not the best shot selection. I think you could probably get a better shot there, but. Number two wants it, goes down low. Up, can't get it to go. However, Carson Baumer is going to go for the line for two. We have a foul underneath by Godwin. It's number 12, Bab, and that's her fourth. Yeah, that's going to put her into foul trouble. She cannot pick up another one. She's got to be careful. Two shots to Carson Baumer. Carson Baumer with two important free throws. Up by one. Up by two. And I think Godwin's head coach is making the right decision, leaving Bab in the game. Taking a timeout. Because she understands that she's going to need her if she wants to win this game. Yes, indeed. But she better sit her down and talk to her and say, hey, you can't pick up another one or else you're, you're done for the night. Well, Macy is, uh, or Cassie, I, I want to call her Macy, but it's Cassie Medina. That's where I get the uh, M from. Cassie's a longtime coach at Godwin and um, does a very nice job for the Wolverines. Dan Vanderwall over here on the other side for Calvin Christian has been here for a while now. And uh, it's back and forth. The Wolverines have scratched their wave. They were down 19-15 after one. Trailed at halftime by 11 at 36-25. After three, they cut that 11 point lead to five at 40-35 and just recently they tied it at 42 all. Since then, they've got three and Calvin Christian has scored five. So it's a five to three since the 42 all tie and that's where we stand right now. A two point advantage at 47-45 with three minutes, 23 seconds to go here at the line. Number 23, Carson Balmer with the second of two free throws. She made the first. She misses the second. The rebounded by Godwin. Down by two. Ball knocked away and controlled by Calvin Christian. Almost slapped away. Across the timeline. Looking around. Maddie Muhlenberg making sure. Oh, that was almost a throw away. Could, could have been picked off. Yep. You gotta make uh, some strong, crisp passes. Two ball or a three ball by number two. Can't get it to go. Quickly Babs down the floor. On the break. Nice hop step in the lane. She missed it, but. Off the glass, underneath. Rebounded wow. by Calvin Christian. Tough play there. It just Calvin couldn't finish Christian it. That would have tied it. down it. just a tad. Three ball, brings the rain. Addie Rhodes way up in the bleachers when she throws that one down. That ball almost touched the rafters. I think that almost touched the moon, actually. It was up there. I've never seen an arc that high. And it's a five point Kelvin Christian lead, 50 to 45. I thought there's no way that ball would go in. And answering is Kishara, Kishari Bab. And it looks like we've got a blocking foul blocking by 11. Foul. This one's. That's her fourth, Amani Over Taylor. Wow. Yeah, that's a Kashari Bab on that Taylor last two, three. This is also going to send Kelvin to the line, which gives them easy, well, at least it should be easy free throws and points. Both teams have got to be very careful about uh, picking and choosing their fouls now because it's now after each team's next foul is in the double bonus, so both teams will get two free throws. And Kylie Bradfield misses the first of a one and one. Babs wants to take this herself. Stolen and by I think she should. I Calvin think she should Christian. take it herself. She's really yeah. been the all, only offense this quarter. And uh, I think we got a foul going up is number 30, Addie Rhodes was taking that all away. 
That's number 11. That's Amani Taylor's fifth foul. Yep, she's done for the night. And Amani is going to end this night with uh, 12 points. She has been disqualified. Too many fouls. But played a great game for Godwin and uh, Coach Cassie Medina. Nice little free throw by Addie Rhodes. That puts a three-point advantage for the Squires. She's got, got her second one on the two shots. And from here on out, Calvin will be shooting two. She missed the second one and got, gets her own rebound, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Big mistake, they're not blocking out the shooter. Yeah, that's probably the most costly mistake you could possibly do in those free throw situations. Will Coach Dan Vandenberg's team, or Vanderwall's team, pull this one out? Godwin isn't giving up. Minute 30 to go. Kelvin taking a little bit of the air out, going into the four corners, bringing it back out top. Way across, that's a dangerous pass. Three ball, can't get it to go. I don't know why she shot that one. Yeah, she could have just Balmer milked some have, more time uh, on yeah. the clock, but. Well, she's been getting the three ball to go. You can tell that's her shot. But now with a minute four, three, two, with one minute to go, down underneath, and we got a jump ball, and the possession arrow favors Godwin, and we got subs coming in. Number 20, Grace Walcott, I think might be her first time in, and 22, Claire Boomstra is coming back with four fouls. Yeah, Baden's oh. got to shoot this shot. She's got to. Got to stay up there. Don't let her pop that three. There she gets, and it's off. Wild rebound, scramble on the ground. Controlled by Godwin. Three ball. Can't get it to go. That's number 12, Kashari Bab. We've got a jump ball with 37.1 seconds and a three shot lead or a three-point lead and the possession arrow favoring the Squires. Layla Nelson back in. Number 20, Grace Walcott back out. Kylie trying to get across the timeline. Back and forth, left and right hand. Across that the timeline. That one's gonna line. force a turnover here. 20 seconds, 25 seconds to go. Babs has gotta be careful though, she can't foul. Underneath. Up, gets it to go, Maddie Muhlenberg, first two points of the night, and it's a five point lead with 10 seconds to go. Three, can't get it to go, rebound up, gonna get fouled by number one, Maddie Muhlenberg. It'll be her second foul of the night with 7.4 seconds to go. Kiana Fox going to the line for her first two free throws of the night. It's a five point advantage for the Squires. Getting ready to check back in is Carson Balmer. And Kiana can't get the free throw to go. Cassie Medina is going to have her team shooting free throws in practice, I think, tomorrow on Saturday. Yeah, morning. they're going to need those free shots. <laughs> Probably well, would have been the difference in this game if they were just making free throws. We've got to come up with that Russo's Pizza player of the game. I don't know who it is yet. Off Depends again. on who wins the game. <laughs> That's who gets the player of the game. With five seconds, four, one second, the horn sounds. What a final score. Well, Alex has made the executive decision I don't think it's really any up, up for debate, really. The well, freshman play, played her heart out tonight, and she, uh, she played uh, a great game. She did. She Big reason why they won. See, let's see what we got on this. Um, freshman. Yeah, a freshman. Addie, Addie Rhodes. Addie Rhodes is a freshman. I did not know that. I didn't have that down. I didn't have time to mark that all in tonight. 
Addie Rhodes with 18 from the field, two from the line with 20 points in the game is your Russo's Pizza Girls Player of the Game. We're going to take a break on uh, WCET again. Addie Rhodes, A-D-D-Y-R-H-O-D-E-S. Addie Rhodes, number 30, freshman for the Calvin Christian Squires, is your Russo's Pizza Player of the Game. Call Mike Russo at 530-3200. Tell him who that Russo's Pizza Player of the Game is, and you can get yourself a free pizza. I want to thank our station manager on January 28th, That'll be Brian Waring. Right now, he's only the sports director. And our producer director on this girls' Friday night, Friday the 13th game. My partner, Alex Goodyear. I'm Andrew Kovac saying we're going to take a break. We'll see you back here in just a little while for the boys' game on WCET-TV. Good night, everybody.